tweet. Loud and clear. Love it. All right. So the plan today is to uh, discuss the catacomb. My up. face punched in. Oh wait, what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the plan today is to discuss the catacomb cup, and I am here with my friend Camo. And how, what are your? What is your hot take? What would you like to introduce yourself, Camo? I don't know how to do introductions. I'm not a podcaster. I don't know how to do introductions either. I don't really talk to people, so. <laughs> <laughs> that is um, fair. Hi, uh, I'm I'm Camo. I'm in uh, uh, Pokemon Go Radio Discord with DeFi, and we're actually semi-local. We're just about a little under a state away, so also kind of cool. But uh, yeah, we both do a bunch of PvP stuff, so practicing together has been pretty fun. So you can do some more of that and let people see what happens. Awesome. El Broncosaurus said, man, that Camo guy sounds like a dingus. Look, I'm sorry my parents could afford to buy three vowels in Wheel of Fortune when they were going to name me, but... <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love people. Okay, um, I would like to start by talking about the meta a little bit. I want to get into battles, but I think a good place to start is just talking about the meta. But I don't want to do oh, for it... Oh, sure. Yeah, don't want to get too... I want to bat... The best way to learn is just throw your Pokemon into battle. <laughs> Taking charge moves to the face. Take charge moves to the face, but I think it's important to start talking about like what we're doing. So, Catacomb Cup is the monthly Sylph Arena tournament. And so it's talking about descend into the darkness and conquer the mysteries that lie below. You can use dark, grass, ice, rock, and bug types. Steel is banned, legendaries are banned, mythicals are banned, shadows are banned, thank goodness. Also regionals are banned, which I thought was interesting. Specific bands are Scrafty, Dugon, Alolan Ninetales, Obstagoon, and they did Crustle dirty. <laughs> they had to work so hard on this ban list to make this meta work. It's kind of hilarious. Yeah, poor, poor Crustle. Poor Crustle. I mean, that would have been, that would have been amazing. Fury Cutter, X Scissor, and what does he have? Rock Slide, I think. Mm -hmm. It would have like, been on that... every team. Oh yeah, it, it would have been like Vigoroth in Jungle Cup, where you have to have one slot for a Vigoroth and one slot for a Vigoroth counter. Yep. So, Ghost Stadium did a early Catacomb Cup tournament, and I'm going to try to cite um, the graphics that I have pulled up for like when I know where they came from. This is from Ooh, Ghost Stadium. Okay. They did a six-round practice cup, and these are the top 25 Pokemon that came up in that cup. And we've got like your kind of your stable picks that if they're in a cup, they are going to be dominant. So pick Pokemon like Umbreon, Pokemon like Venusaur, Pokemon like Lapras. Hey, Mahalo! Thank you for the follow. Pokemon like Sableye, Pokemon like Victory Bell, Meganium. But then you have some interesting ones. I have never seen a Pseudo Wudo in a Sylph Cup. He was, um, uh, Moo actually used him in Timeless. Really? And he he won our local with that dumb stick. Wow. Because that is, because with the count, it's really, I think, one of the only counter users. So it is uh, going to be. Breloom is in it, but Breloom has a myriad of other problems on that screen as well. Yep. So that's why, like, when I say one of the only, like, it's kind of your only counter user <laughs> in essence. Yeah. It's the only one that's not going to be made made fun of horribly. Yep. Zwilus is also permitted in this cup. So that's something to note if that's something you have built up. Alolan <laughs> Muck is a fan favorite. It's I love my Alolan Muck. And then um, Alolan Graveler I think is what is meant by this bottom pick. This bottom pick looks like a Cantonian Graveler, but I believe Alolan Graveler is the one that's meant to be down here. Otherwise, do you notice anything else? I don't know if you... Well, I think I sent you all these pictures in Discord. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I, I didn't really look at them too closely, <clears throat> but that's on me. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> um, what sticks out to you? I... Oh, there's Alolan Graveler. I see it. They're both on there. Oh, yep. I'll be down. There's the eyebrows. Yep. Thank you, Varios. Um, 
no, I had something I was thinking of, but I, uh, nah, it's, it wasn't either. It wasn't important enough to remember it. So fair enough. Um, um, there were a couple of Rage Reliefers. It had Victory Bell on there, but I think Gloom's actually ranked higher. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's just based on, like, in practice, Victory Bell's attack stat hits like a break point for Razor Leaf, and Gloom on paper is bulkier, so it should do better. But I would say either one of those are probably fine. Um, Varios is pointing out Cherum is seeing Razor Leaf use as well for the Weather Ball coverage. Oh. I definitely forgot Cherum was allowed in here. Um, oh, it's it's ranked real low, though. And then just it, it, finish... I'm just going to quickly finish out this Ghost Stadium post. Um, okay. Rambling Rabbit, um, who is a major admin in Ghost Stadium, ranked, like how many like did a full breakdown of the usage of that early tournament umbreon was on 25 teams good lord um so that's 71 percent same with pseudo wudo so they were tied for usage followed by lapras venusaur beedrill vespaquin zwilus was only on 11 teams so umbreon came out as kind of an early like your early dark type Probably because everybody had an Umbreon built, and Zwilus, um, I spent like 90-something rare candies to get up to that second move. And I've walked my dino for like 550 kilometers. Yeah, I do not so, have the resources to build a Zwilus right now. I mean, you better start walking then. I know, but <laughs> I'm walking my perfect Metagross that... I love maybe, maybe, it's maybe, maxed maybe. out. It's beautiful. I want to make it my buddy. All right. Taking a quick look to the meta simplified. Um, your bugs like Vespaquin are going to beat your dark types. So is Pseudo Wudo using counter are also going to beat um, your dark types. And then you have down in the lower left your grasses, Venusaur, Victory Bell, Jump Bluff. Um, Vespaquin can beat them. And the grasses are going to be able to beat Pseudo Wudo. And then to complete your little cross on the low, in the lower right, you have all these ice types or ice type attackers like Drapion with Ice Fang. They can beat Vespaquin, but Pseudo Wudo beats them. And then I really want to be able to use my Drapion, but I just feel like this might not be the meta for him. Mm hmm. I know Drapion's great, but Pseudo Wudo is just gonna. Nope. Yeah. Um, some mold breakers, you have your dark and poison types. Alter some alternative dark types you can use are Sableye, Galarian Lanoon, Haunchcrow. Um, Sableye only loses hard to other dark types. Houndoom is super squishy, <laughs> but it's an option. Um, there are some alternative rock types. And Alolan Graveler actually got a lot of love recently in PB Poke. So. Oh, yeah. That's, that's something definitely to discuss. You also have alternative bugs to Vespaquin. Um, Beedrill isn't as reliable. Um, Pinsir has close combat. And then you have alternative grass types, like Tangrowth and Cradilly that can beat bugs. Um, Shiftry and Cherum struggle with Sudowoodo, but one has fire damage and the other can take on Umbreon. So that's kind of taking a look at the Game Press article. Anything else you want to note, Cameron? Um... I would say, I think Pinsir actually has a lot of potential. It can beat, or at least it should be able to beat, Zwilus, Umbreon, and Sudowoodo. So that would actually turn that arrow the other direction. Okay. It probably, it'll probably drop some matches on the grass types, because it's not going to double resist the grass moves. But picking up that Sudowoodo might be worth it, and then you just have grass coverage elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pinsir definitely has potential. It's it's really going to depend how the meta shakes out kind of in the rest yeah. of the month. And then I've got two different kind of team builder graphics. This one does not have a source listed other than this G in the upper left. So, but I found it in the Sylph Arena Reddit. It is, so it recommends for your six spots, choose one dark type, like your top pick. So either an Umbreon or a Zwilus. Second slot, pick something that'll be the dark type. 
for your third slot, <laughs> pick an anti-Umbreon. So they have like two, like an anti-Dark and an anti-Umbreon. And then an anti Jwilas. So they have like four. <laughs> that is so interesting. Like, are you looking at the same one I am? The Dark, the Catacomb Cup team builder? The one yeah. that has a black background? Yeah, I, since we're not doing battles, I, I did pull your stream back up to take a look at stuff. So, there's an anti-Dark, an anti-Umbreon, and an anti Jwilas. But those also all kind of fill different roles. And then they have one to say to protect your dark types. And then a safe switch double up. I like how... <laughs> Poor Glalie. I like how Glalie, <laughs> Shift Dream, Beach will let's say we like fainting. Isaiah says hydrate, I will hydrate using something other than alcohol. I mean, it was kind of like... Um, this was before I was in PvP, but... Um, I want to say, I think it was Rainbow Cup that people were using Quagsire as a safe switch mm -hmm. because it, it drew out the Obama Snow for Razor Leaf, and then you get, like, four Razor Leafs in and it dies, so your switch clock is still pretty new, and then you can bring in your Obama Snow counter and just pummel it down and they can't do anything about it. So, I mean, you could use kind of a, a sack swap safe switch type of thing, just it hurts me to think yeah. about using shift using shift tree like that after i used him so much in gbl as my destroy everything counter mm -hmm. mahalo high is wondering if you don't have any umbreons with re um it's not return it's last resort um is there a second charge move that would be useful in this meta you would just run it with its um dart you wouldn't need a second charge move on it yeah, say so it has Foul Play and Dark Pulse. Foul Play, I believe, takes four Snarls to get to, and Dark Pulse takes five. So you could either go for Dark Pulse to have more closing power, or Foul Play to have more frequent damage. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, the only and the only thing that is really going to resist that Foul Play damage is going to be the Dark Poisons, or the Mirror, or Zwilus, which, I mean, I don't think... Umbreon beats Zwilus anyway, so you're not really giving up a whole lot there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you could definitely, if you don't have one with Last Resort, you can definitely just run it with one of its dark moves. Um, I think Foul Play is recommended, is the recommended one, but... Yeah, and that's just because it, it's faster to get to, and it's it's a hard-hitting dark move. Mm -hmm. um, Varios is saying Obama Snow wasn't permitted in Rainbow. Sounds like it might have been Tempest that you're talking oh, okay. about. Okay. Okay, yeah, I like I said, jungle was my first cup, so I I really don't know what I'm talking about for the most part, and anything prior to July of last year. My bad. <laughs> That's okay. And then there's another um, Catacomb Cup roster archetype. This one was built by Polymers Up and Go Stadium. I really like this one. Ooh, that is real. Like, you zoom into this one, and it goes, like, way too close. So... <laughs> First one, it recommends a generalist, um, either Lapras, Zwilus, or Umbreon. So they have there's few things that hard counter them, and they deal out just a ton of damage. Then you have a fighter, a pseudo. I like how it's a pseudo fighter, and one of them is pseudo Wudo. I like how they spelled. Yeah, they they spelled pseudo <laughs> like that deliberately. That's amazing. That's this this was well built. Um, so either Pinsir or Pseudo Wudo. So neither of them are fighting types. And then Breloom in the back is kind of like, it's there, but it's did they, problematic. Did they, like, did they like fade him out? on? <laughs> yeah, There's... like not a great <laughs> choice. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> um, so I like for the flyers, they don't all have wings, but they provide valuable coverage against the grass or the pseudo fighters. So, Beedrill, Jumpluff, Vespaquin being the strong choice, or Venusaur. Then you pick an Anti-Flyer, and again, by Anti-Flyer you're picking, it's just something in this Flyer category. So that could be either Frostlass or, or Lapras, is the recommendation. And then pick a, a sec, go ahead. No, I was going to say a second flyer. Yep. So it's like the other chart where it's like, pick a dark, pick an anti-dark, pick an anti-specific dark, pick another anti-other specific dark. <laughs> I think I like this one, though. Like, I'm, I think I prefer this one, the polymers up one. I do. I like how this one's I like I think I like how this one's laid out. 
a little bit. And I like the humor in this one, too. The, yeah. The, like, fainting. This makes me giggle. Um, and I like how this one includes the type, um, the super effective advantages. Yeah. That's always super useful. But I also, I really, this one looks, like, clean and crisp and has less doubling up. Um, but yeah, second fly, flyer, at least one flyer, should be grass type for pseudo wudo unless the grass is a flex. And then pick a flex. Most often is either another is another Lapras check or counter, or another generalist. So doubling up on your generalists or a Lapras counter. But yeah, I think I think that would be uh, was it J R J R E C Wolf does a nifty or thrifty. Oh, I yeah. think um, I think Umbrown would qualify in the thrifty because you could get by with not having a second charge move on him. I can even pull. I bet I could even pull that up if he has it done. He might it's, not it's on there. I, I looked at it yesterday. There it is. is it? Very top. Oh, very top. Nifty or thrifty? Oh, does uh, this take me on, to JRC Wolf? The, I want no, the... I want click the, on the image. There we go. Nope, All not right. that. Click on the image. Next. I say this because I literally did that exact same sequence of events yesterday. <laughs> okay. So, some nifty ones. So, your 10,000 dust, 25 candy, your beedrill, your scolipede, cri Camo's favorite cricketune. You could use it. Shut up! I was- it was my fr I it was Jungle Cup. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Alright, cricket. I still went two and two. <laughs> Alright, Cody, I see you poke- as soon as we start battling, I will play Pocasito. I don't want to have to fight Pocasito while I'm talking. <laughs> but I see you. <laughs> Leave any when that comes out. That'll be interesting. So Venusaur, uh, Sceptile, there are so many Pokemon in here that are... Meg Cargo is not thrifty. That yeah, is a lie. <laughs> it's thrifty for the second charge move. It's a 10k charge move. But it is expensive as heck to make. I, j I know. I built it yesterday. It hurt. That was... I had a rank... What was it? It's like 6 or 7. And I just, it was just sitting there. And it was already, like, 1,300 CP. Like, it should not have had to go that far. Yeah, I just and spent 100k it, on mine, and it was gross. And it did, and it was just not as bad as your, the video that you made of you powering up your Sableye. Oh my god, I bef cried. Bef before they had the bulk <laughs> power up. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days. Uh, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> and Cody's just reminding me, yeah, he likes to... Redeem Pocasito to announce that he's here and that he's present. I mean, I'm all, I'm all for that. Don't. Oh yeah. As soon as don't we let start anybody battling, tell you differently. I have, it, I have it written down to play Pocasito as soon as we start battling. All right. So, taking a quick look at our top of PV Poke, Pseudo Wudo number one. I like that nothing is above like 98 percent for the rank for like its overall. I'm surprised nothing's above 97. I think Mantine was pretty high. In uh, jungle uh, forest, so like this is a lot better balanced overall. Yeah, I think they did a really good job with their ban list. Um, they had to, they clearly had to work very hard, like you said earlier. Um, but taking a look, pseudo wudo, Venusaur, Caracosta coming in third. I have two Tortuga <laughs> total, so this is not an option for me. But if you have it, that's rank three. Um, Alolan Graveler be really got a cool. lot of love. It was currently ranked a lot. It was previously ranked a lot lower, and it's up to number four with Volt Switch, Rock Blast, and Stone Edge. So that's awesome. The secret's out. Um, ooh, Cody says in my mind there's basically five lock slots, and you get a flex slot. Ooh. Yeah. Cody's got an opinion. <laughs> Well, we're going to find out, Cody. I'm sure you are the Sylph guy, though. You were ranked one in the U.S. for a hot second. Oh, damn. Yeah. I think... Who took it? Who's ranked one now? I think it was... Um... Um, it's He's saying Umbreon, Venusaur, Lapras, Pseudo, Wudo, and Vespier locks. And then you go with an anti-Lapras pick. Okay. Oh, Cody is KLTD32? Yeah. Toshi, okay. Toshi, he was he was number one, and then Toshi knocked him out. Okay. I had to satisfy my curiosity real quick. 
And they're still really close. Toshi's only 11 globally. Mm -hmm. And then him and then House Stark is right behind him. Dang. Well, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we gotta look at the spice. You gotta look at the spice picks. The hilarious part is that Mag Cargo isn't really spice this time. It's, like, in the top 30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Mag Cargo Because that was uh, Arrow... Arrow ran Mag Cargo in rows. And that Cody's was like... Cody's considering Pincer has his um, slot six. Yeah, that makes sense. So you can kind of choose his pseudo fighter. I'm going to use that as a phrase all the time now. All right. We're doing pretty good. Only 30 minutes of like talking about the meta. I can cut Such that into its own YouTube video, I think. Um, really quickly, best leads are looking like Alolan Graveler, um, like your Alolan Rocks, like a pseudo fighter like Pinsir or pseudo Wudo. Lapras is a good lead. Um, looking at closers, Venusaur, like almost always is a good closing Pokemon your pseudo fighters. So lots of like Umbreon is always a good thing to have in the back. Like you have Umbreon to like end a fight. <laughs> You're in a good spot. Yeah, that thing's not going to not going to go down quick at all. No. Safe switch. Um Zwilus is ranked really high as a safe switch. Um so, so is pseudo Wudo and Lapras. Umbreon also makes a fine safe switch. Um Cody saying Lapras safe swap is pretty crazy strong. Oh, yeah. All right. You ready to fight? <sighs> no, but let's go. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching and best wishes.